Welcome to Mexico City. This is our first week in Mexico and we are already loving it. <laughs> so we've only really been in Mexico for three days now and we haven't really had a chance to explore Mexico City. So today we're just gonna take you along and see what we see. <laughs> if you haven't seen us before, we're Eric and Sarah and we're gonna be traveling around Mexico for the next few months. So make sure you subscribe to follow along. <laughs> So as you probably already noticed, we are at the Palacio de Bellas Artes here in the center of Mexico City and it is an incredibly beautiful building with a uh, very interesting history. I think it took over like 30 years to build the, the building but the architecture is incredible and obviously there are lots of different murals and stuff inside and I think you can even go see a ballet here which we might might go see while we're here in Mexico City but it is just a wonderful place to just spend an afternoon and enjoy the sights. so cool like, I don't know it's just so intricate there's all these like angels on the top and other designs there's some indigenous carvings it just it's really beautiful I like it a lot not a bad place to hang out no eh? I like it well time to walk through the centro I think there are so many people down here it I know it's Sunday packed. but this is crazy <laughs> Now what we found in Latin America is that like Sunday is definitely the day where people go and hang out. Oh, I think yeah. people mostly work six days a week at least. Yeah, Sundays are the day. The day. Look how many people there are. It's very beautiful though. Yeah. You can see why there's so many people here. Yeah, this is nice. I think one of the funniest things about Central and South America is that when you go to these like historic of centros, they have all these nice like old buildings and then all the big companies need to abide by their standard for like nice looking buildings. So like you don't see big Burger King signs or like Starbucks signs. You just see Burger King and Starbucks. It's kind of funny. A local I met at the park said we have to go inside this building. So we're gonna try it out. She said the architecture is really cool in here. You think we have to wait in line? What is this place? I don't even know. I have no idea. She just said to go through, go through the restaurant, she said. Wait. I don't think Sunday is the day for this. <laughs> it is packed here. Yeah. She said to go to the second floor. Can we go through to the second floor? Never hurts to ask. We're good. We're good. This feels really weird though. We're just walking through all these people eating their meal. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Feel awkward. This is beautiful in here though. So wow. Nice. Get me out of here though. This is way too awkward. Okay, that lady in the park was right. This is so beautiful. How stunning is this building? Even just to come and look at. But now I want to come and eat in here. Yeah, it's a really this nice restaurant. so nice. Mexico architecture so far has been really cool. Top notch. <laughs> The craziest crosswalk I've ever done, probably. <laughs> so many people. <laughs> so one of the coolest things about Mexico City is that they have a main artery that they close every Sunday just for people biking. And so people can just bike all day on this main artery and not have to worry about traffic or anything. And it's also really cool because there's like this EcoBC app that you can just pay like $5 for a day and you can have unlimited 45 minute rides. This is actually one of the things we really wanted to do when we were in Medellin, Colombia, but we never got a chance to do it. So we're really happy that we get to do it today. Hey, Ooh, it just like pops that's out. That's so fun. Perfect. My let's, turn. Let's bike. Let's do it. I gotta put a 45 minute timer on first. Yeah, make sure we don't get go over. Yeah, exactly. Let's ride! Let's ride, baby! This is so fun! <laughs> uh, we actually haven't been biking in a long time. No, this is it's just like riding a bike though, isn't it? Wow, these are really comfortable and smooth actually. I was not expecting that. This is sick. This feels so funny on a main road. <laughs> I know. I love it. Oh. Good Sunday box. I would do Absolutely. this every Sunday if I lived in Mexico City. <laughs> Look at all these people. Wait, can we just 
stop? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta pay attention to the traffic people. I know, but I thought I thought it was just like we own the road, you know? Oh no, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> you still have to stop. stop. Yeah. Okay, now we can go. Go, don't hit the dog. What? Go. How do we No. Oh, oh. This is stressful. Other bikes. Yeah. So it's free to bike here between 8 to 2 every Sunday and there's actually even one place where you can get free bike rentals. You just apparently need to show up there pretty early to make sure you get a bike but you can yeah just get a free bike to you. So there's literally no reason to not come and do this on a Sunday in Mexico City. <laughs> I love that some people have their bikes like completely decked out for this. It's awesome. Oh, absolutely. Got speakers and like decorations going on. Tricks. Tricks. Yeah. Tricks. tricks. Some tricks. Nice tricks. Tricks. So many tricks. How do you do them tricks? Nice work. Get it in there. If you go over the time of 45 minutes, you just have to pay, I think like 25. So it's not crazy, but. Got in just in time. We arrived at one of the ones with like <laughs> full bike racks. So yeah. like, you know, gotta hope that there's. You gotta wait for someone some to take one out, just sneak it in. But it's all good. So now we made it to Bosque de Chapultepec, and basically it is just a massive park in the middle of Mexico City. And it's pretty much like Mexico's version of Central Park. And it is huge. There's people everywhere selling things, lots of different vendors and food and things like that. And there's also like a pond or a lake in the middle where people can go on like pedal boats and stuff. It looks really fun, but the line is massive. I don't think we're gonna be going on that today, uh, but it is just really cool to be here. We basically just biked straight to here and now we're just walking around. Okay, here is the line to ride the boats. All the way to there. All the way to the end. That's I don't uh, I don't think we're gonna wait in that line. <laughs> That's crazy. It doesn't really seem worth it to me. <laughs> Yum 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 yum. I love tacos. I love Mexico. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> it's like so good. We've only been in Mexico for what's this our this is our fourth day? This is our fourth day. And we have probably eaten at least 15 tacos each. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Every single day because it's so cheap. It's so cheap. I yeah. I just can't say no. One of the days we got tacos twice for lunch and dinner. That's fine. We're in Mexico. I'm, I'm gonna keep count is. of how many uh, how many tacos we eat here, and we'll see uh, what our total count is after a few months. Might be embarrassing. Mm. Mm. So good. Oh yeah. This is a good choice. Um, and everything just smells so good here. Like yeah, when you're absolutely. walking down the street, like I think there's part of it's because there's always like street tacos and like people selling stuff on the street. But just in general, like the smells in Mexico City are so good. Like you walk anywhere and it smells. You will have like laundromats and stuff. Yeah. And you'll just like get like all these really nice smells. It's awesome. Yeah, everything just smells really good. Mm -hmm. taco, 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 taco. I, I don't know if we should have come here on a Sunday. It's, there's so many people and like get to, into anything. It's just a huge line. Let's go see how long it is and decide if we want to wait. Yeah. It's moving super fast. You need to cut in line like that? Uh, yeah, sorry. How <laughs> dare you? To, yeah. It's not loud. I feel kind of bad. Oh, wow, this line is on. so long, Eric. Yeah, but it's like moving constantly. Yeah. Okay, so that only took us like five minutes to get to the front of the line and then we just completely ditched immediately because honestly, like the amount of people that are here, I honestly it, I think we're just gonna come back at every Yeah, day. it was too crazy and then we had to pay like I don't know, 50 for each of our cameras to be able to film in there, which is fine. But I think with the number of people in there, there was just hordes of people yeah. flooding out of the door. So I, I, it doesn't look like it would be an enjoy, <laughs> enjoyable experience on a Sunday. So I'm, yeah. we'll probably just come back at every day. Yeah, it's fine. You live and you learn. Yep. 
So one really cool thing about Mexico City is there's free Wi-Fi almost all over the city. I think there's like 28,000 spots that have free Wi-Fi, which is super cool. And also really convenient because the SIM cards here were definitely not as cheap as other countries. Yeah. I think it costs like 500 for six gigabytes of data, for like which a month. for a month, which is not like terrible, but yeah. it's definitely a lot more expensive than other countries. So having free Wi-Fi everywhere where we go is uh, super handy. Pretty nice. <laughs> We've heard really good things about the metro here in Mexico City. Mostly that it like connects so much in the city, but also because it's really, really cheap to use. So we're really excited. I've never actually even taken a subway before. And not an underground one. Not an underground one. Yeah. I don't know why this isn't going. There we go. Should go. And yeah, there we go. we're in the subway. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of shops under here. I, yeah. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. They're mostly all closed because of Sunday, but yeah. yeah. We can do shopping and take this up. So ready. So nice for us. So nice. Okay, so uh, I thought we were gonna get like an actual like cart, but there's also just like tickets. So we bought ourselves just four of these tickets in case we need to uh, use more than just two if we mess something up, <laughs> basically. And they only cost like 30 pesos, which is like a dollar fifty. For all four? For all four. That's crazy, yeah. that is dirt cheap. It's super cheap. And we're gonna go across the city with this, basically, so let's go. <laughs> Ciudad Mexico. <laughs> Embarrassing, Eric. Embarrassing. Couldn't even get into the metro. I know, I don't even know where I'm going now, so I'm just gonna stand here. <laughs> okay, so we're here. We need to go towards that, and then we need to go up to there. Okay. Thing that we like to mention in our kind of first impressions videos is always about safety and honestly we've only been here for like four days but we have not felt unsafe at all even though there was tons and tons and tons of people out there today it was totally safe and we never felt in danger yeah always be careful obviously there's always things you can do watch your stuff you know yeah. keep your wits about you but if you're just being observant of your stuff We've, yeah, we felt like perfectly safe here. Yeah, we just always like to mention that because I feel like people have these like preconceived notions of like Latin American cities that they're very unsafe. Mm -hmm. And there's always ways to like mitigate that and not be in danger really. Yeah. So yeah, and we maybe, just want to mention that. Maybe we can comment on that in a future video, but yeah. as far as today goes, super safe. <laughs> That's right. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.